Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own Daisy server for free that you can play with your friends. This server is going to be run on your own computer. That's what makes it free. So ideally, you should be setting this up on a second computer and have that running as the dedicated server for your Daisy server. But if you have a strong enough computer, then you can run the server on that computer and play on that computer simultaneously. Step one, you're gonna go into your Steam library and you're gonna have a drop down option here for games or tools. We're just gonna show tools and you're gonna wanna find Daisy server and install it. It's about two and a half to three gigs. Once it's installed, you wanna find your way to this folder. It's in your C program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, daisy server folder and there's a file here called server dz.cfg this is a config file you want to right click on it and open it with a text editor where it says host name that's the name of your server so you can make that whatever you want we're just going to call it swashed server we're going to save it and close it and then back in steam where it says daisy server we're going to right click on it we're going to click properties and under launch options we're going to put config server dz .config, profiles profile i'll put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it yourself and you can just close this window to dismiss it now we can just right click on daisy server and click launch you'll get this log window that shows you a whole bunch of stuff starting up this is the map loading all the items loading all the vehicles loading and now we can open up the daisy launcher and you can see in the left sidebar there's a servers option and then we can go to LAN and we can see our server is now ready for LAN play. So you can see here, I am now logged in to my Daisy server. The game is up and running, but we want to play with our friends. So they need to be able to connect to this server. In order to allow other players to connect to our computer, we're going to have to open some ports on our router. This requires changing a little bit of how your router does networking and it's actually a lot easier than it sounds i know sometimes it can seem a little scary to be messing with your router port forwarding is actually a very easy thing to do the only thing that makes port forwarding a little bit complicated is that everyone has a different router but essentially you want to log in to your router to access your router's dashboard like this, you can just go into any browser and in the address bar, you would type something like 192.168.1.0. Now, everyone's router is a little bit different, so the address might be a little bit different. You might have to look up what the dashboard address is for your router. In my case, the address is 192.168.2.1. And every router has this. And it may not look exactly like how mine looks. Every router has its own dashboard. Now that you are logged into your router, you want to navigate your way to the port forwarding options. You can usually find this by going to the settings or tools options of your router. But you can see here, I have mine saying networking and down here is port forwarding. We're going to create a new rule. And we're just going to call it daisy1. Protocol, we're going to make it UDP, internal port 2302. This is one of the ports that Daisy's servers needs to allow people to connect to your server. For external port, we'll do 2302, 2302. And if you have an option to select the device that's going to be hosting the server, you can just select that device and that'll be fine. Otherwise, you'll have to enter the IP address manually. If you don't know what your IP address is, you can just go to Google and type, what is my IP? And there's a website here that can just tell you what your IP address is. So you take that IP address and you put it in there and you click create. And now we're gonna create a second rule. We'll just call this one DAISY2. This one will also be UDP and this port will be 27016. We're gonna use that for our internal and external ports. We put in our IP address again and click create. Now with both of these rules added to our router, we now have port forwarding for our server. We click save, we get a confirmation. The settings were saved. In many cases, a lot of routers have this UPnP option. This stands for universal plug and play. And this gives devices the ability to open and close ports on their own. So we don't want that happening. We're just gonna go and turn that off. 
And one more thing we have to do is on our computer, we have to allow our firewall to allow these ports. So on Windows, we can just press the start button and type in firewall. It's gonna open Windows Defender Firewall. Go to advanced settings and it's gonna open this window. And we're gonna click on inbound rules and click new rule. We're gonna select port, next, UDP, and under specific local ports, we're gonna put 2302, 27016. We're gonna click next, allow the connection, next, next, and for a name, we can just call it Daisy Ports and click finish. So now that we've got our server up and running and we've done port forwarding on our router and we've added those ports as inbound rules to our Windows firewall, we can go into the Daisy launcher, click on the direct connect button in the launcher, and we can put in our IP address or we can give our friends our IP address and click connect. It's gonna pull up our server. You can see here it says swashed server. That means it is recognizing that the server is live and we can just click keep current selection and join. And now it's launching the game. So we can see here we have now joined the game through our IP address, not through LAN. Our friends can now connect to the game. And that is how you can get your own personal private DayZ server for you and your friends to play on. And this will be a plain vanilla server with no mods. Adding mods to your server is possible. It just takes a few extra steps. Let me know if that's something that you wanna see and I can put that out there. If this video helped you, let me know. Give a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. I will see you in another video. Peace.